Hey guys, it's Robin, Independent Sensi Consultant. Today I am coming to you from my office because I had a box delivered today and I can't wait to get home to film it. It is the fall, um, the 10 new fall fragrances for the fall and winter catalog. And I also have, that arrived at the same time, the moment by moment collection. So I've got those here as well and I have not smelled any of them yet. So we're gonna smell those together and I'll go through the notes and give you my kind of initial thoughts. All right, let's get started. So first I have cashmere and corduroy. So the notes on this one are vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. It's a really pretty kind of soft cranberry colored wax. This I can see being a favorite for pretty much most people. Let me see if I can get out of get it out of here. That's really pretty. It's definitely a creamy vanilla sandalwood scent. With maybe a little bit of bergamot, but it's not. And I almost get like a touch of maybe like touch, like I mean very background touch of like berry or blackberry. But overall, this is a creamy sandalwood vanilla with just a touch of something pretty and fruity. This is gorgeous. I can see this being beautiful in a bedroom. Um, I really like this one so far. I can see this being a top favorite of mine for sure, depending on performance. Next up, we have Blue Sage and Tonka. And all of my clamshells are kind of broken here. I don't know what happened there, but oh well. It's kind of a pretty dusty teal color wax. And the notes on this are revel in the richness of Midnight Sage and Black Lavender over the sultry sweetness of Tonka Bean. So let's give it a smell. Okay. My first thoughts are it's masculine. And it is autumnal and wintry without being your classic winter fall scents. It kind of gives a feeling of cold weather without being like your pine and cranberry and snow notes. Okay, on the top, I'm getting much more of a sage note and almost like a foresty kind of scent. Yeah, it's very green, a little earthy and masculine. Um, it's okay for me, the scent to feel on this one is kind of medium. Um, I could take or leave it. We'll see how it performs though. I think this one has potential to perform well. Next here, I have cinnamon buttercream. And the notes on this one are Italian buttercream and creamy mascarpone scooped over cinnamon cake, combined sugar, spice, and everything nice. And this one is a beige wax like a lot of the bakery ones are. And again, the clamshell is broken. I don't know what's going on. All of them have been broken so far. Okay. It's a cinnamon bakery scent. More creamy, more creamy than cinnamony. Mmm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Not a fan. Okay, so the thing that's throwing me is that the top here smells a lot more tart and cheesy um, for me. And for me, it's not a good cheesy. It's kind of like a sour cheesy. And I don't like the way it's combining with the cinnamon. Um, I'll mix this probably to get through it. Maybe add some more cinnamon heavy things to kind of overpower the cheesy note. Um, but for me, the top smells fine. It's like a creamy vanilla cinnamon, but the bottom's got that, that tart cheesy note and it's a little odd for me. So I love bakery. I love all things bakery. This one, not my favorite. Next up, we have eucalyptus wreath and the top of this clamshell is like completely gone. Um, pretty sage green wax. The notes are fresh eucalyptus is woven with juniper and adorned with frosted mint. And I just wanna say, if you're noticing my camera shaking, it's because I've got this like desk set up at work um, where if I put my elbows on my desk, it moves the monitor. I don't know, sorry. Okay. Shower fresh. So eucalyptus wreath to me is like shower fresh. And a hint, just a hint, of like cleaner. So I usually really like juniper and eucalyptus I'm usually hit or miss on. The mint 
is very much background. The main note is green and significantly soapy. So this is in the fresh category and I would agree with that. It's soapy. It smells kind of like a man's bar soap. Um, yeah. Fresh, just a little bit of minty in the background. If you like fresh scents, this is definitely worth checking out. And we have one that's fully intact. Yay! So this is Graham Cracker Crunch and it's got beige wax. Um, so the notes on this are caramelized graham cracker layered with crunchy peanut butter and creamy vanilla bean. So let's give it a sniff. I'm excited to see how the peanut butter is in this one. Yeah, okay. It's a creamy peanut butter, like very creamy. The vanilla is much more present than the peanut butter for me. And I wouldn't say I specifically get graham crackers, at least not on the top bottom. Let's try the top. Hmm. No, I'm getting almost entirely vanilla on the top. Maybe like a buttery vanilla. It's definitely a bakery. And I can kind of detect peanut. I wouldn't detect graham cracker out of this though, myself. I like it. It's fairly light. We'll see how it is warming. Um, nice bakery scent. I think this would be fine all year round. I don't think this is fall or winter specific at all. In fact, it kind of reminds me of, I think if you put this with like toasted marshmallow or any other kind of marshmallow scent, this could be really fun or even like bonfire beach. It would smell like s'mores. I'm going to try melting this with bonfire beach and see what happens. Next we have harvest blessings. And my curse of broken clam shell seems to be over because it's the second one in a row that's good. Whoops, sorry. Um, so orange wax. So Harvest Blessings is radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. So I'm expecting a pretty classic fall scent from this just based on the notes. Let's see. Yeah. Pumpkin is the first thing. Cinnamon. And I think the apple is there. Like a, it's a cidery apple, like a spicy apple. Trying to get this one out of the clamshell here. Whoop. It's really in there. Looks like an earthquake is going on on my camera. I think we got it. <laughs> the, it's spicy. It, like if you don't like spice you will not like this. It's a nice traditional fall pumpkin apple. I don't specifically get oak but it does say it's a smooth oak, so it might just be there for kind of like rounding it out, making it feel smoother. Yeah, nice spicy pumpkin apple scent. Very classic fall. So next we have pomegranate prosecco, and it's hot pink wax, and it's delectable rose berry and pomegranate at an effervescent splash to a flute of pink prosecco. This I like. This reminds me a lot of one that Yankee Candle did a couple years ago. And it was also like a champagne bubbly or a cranberry bubbly or something like that. Yeah, it's berry, it's bright, it's a little bit fizzy. I can see most people liking this. Yeah, if you like champagne type scents and you like berry, I think give this one a try. I think this one's a crowd pleaser, especially for those of you who don't like your traditional pine and cranberry and mint type winter scents. It's very festive and just Christmassy enough without being pine, cranberry, mint and all of that stuff. So solid choice here and it's actually reasonably strong as well. Next up we have Scarlet Sunflower and it's kind of a pretty mustard yellow type wax and the notes on this are juicy apple and a hint of red cranberry are brightened by a scarlet sunflower turning to face the sun. This is pretty. What comes to mind immediately is Bath and Body Works. I feel like they must have had a scent that's similar to this at some point, although I couldn't pinpoint which one. But if you know the kind of florals and notes that Bath and Body Works uses, this is kind of similar. It's a little bit body care for me, but I like it. Okay, the bottom is more sunflower heavy. And I wouldn't identify the berry as specifically cranberry, but it is a sweet berry. And the apple is lending some sweetness and juiciness as well, I think. 
Although again, if you asked me to pick out notes out of the scent, I think I'd have a hard time describing what the notes are without knowing what they are. So it's quite well blended. Overall, it's kind of a fallish fruity floral and it's quite nice. I can see this doing really nicely in August. Like this feels very August for me. So this will be going in my melting basket for next month. So next we've got Spiced Ember Glow with the Pretty Burgundy Wax. And the notes on this are smoked apple and toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape. This one sounds like one I'm gonna like, so I'm excited for this one. Okay, it's more cinnamon than I thought it was gonna be, but I like this one. It's very Christmassy for me. Like this one is winter. Late fall into winter. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh. There's more vanilla on the top here. And if you're scared of the embers part, where it, you might be afraid it's kind of smoky and kind of more similar to the fireside type notes, I don't get that. Just very, very faintly in the back. It's not a main part of the scent. It's cinnamon and vanilla and it is, if it's a, if it's apple, it's like a baked, pretty cooked apple, um, not a fresh, juicy apple. It's a very deep, spicy, warm scent. So that will be a nice one. Nice standard, very traditional type winter scent. And finally, we have Tinselberry with the reddish colored wax. So the notes on this are strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon and sweet sugar for a little extra sparkle. This is not what I was expecting. It's a little more cinnamon than I was expecting, but I can smell both the strawberry and the cranberry and sugar and, and cinnamon. So it's, ex it's one of those scents that's what you see is what you get. It's exactly what it's supposed to be, which actually is not all that common. This one's got exactly the notes you'd expect it to have based on the description and I can't get it out, but it's the same strawberry note. I would say it's like a syrupy strawberry note. But I think the cranberry is a little bit stronger. Yeah, cinnamon, strawberry, cranberry, and it is a sweet scent. Um, if you, I think you do still have to like cinnamon to like this one. Um, it's nice. It's a nice winter scent, good for Christmas time or the holidays or any time festive. Um, yeah. I can see this being nice kind of just entering into the holiday season, maybe like right after American Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, and next up we have the Moment by Moment Wax Collection. And so I've got birthday wishes here. And this one, according to Scentsy, smells a lot like um, the Happy Birthday Bar from a few years back. I have not melted Happy Birthday, but I do have a scent pack of Happy Birthday and it's a very sweet, vanilla cakey type scent and it's quite nice. I've got it in one of my daughter's um, little buddies on her bed. So birthday wishes. So this is rainbow sugar sprinkles add a sweet surprise to comforting cake batter and whipped vanilla with bright confetti pink wax. Yeah, this is very similar to happy birthday. I think it's a little sweeter and less buttery more sugary, less buttery. And I like it better, I think, than Happy Birthday. Yeah, this is super nice. If you like bakery scents, there's, I can't see any way you're not gonna like this. This is just vanilla cake. It's gorgeous. Like, straight up vanilla cake, no more, no less. Well done, beautiful. This is probably gonna be club worthy. Next, I've got Down the Aisle with the pretty kind of seafoam green wax. So the notes on this one are fresh dewy greens celebrate a sweet union of watery pear and peony blossoms. Mmm. It smells like shampoo, but in a good way. You definitely get the watery greens and it is a watery green. You do get pear and you get a floral and it's a very sweet, bright floral. And it's kind of reminiscent of peony. I could probably see it being peony, which is great because peony is like one of my absolute favorite flowers. This is really pretty. Very spring. 
Okay, on the bottom you get more of that green and pear note. This is beautiful. It's maybe medium to medium light. I like it a lot. This is really nice. This is better than I expected, and I thought I was going to like this one anyway, so this is really, really nice. Recommend. Next up, we got Graduation with the <clears throat> sort of a yellowy beige wax. So the notes on this one are crisp apple adds a fresh perspective to rich suede leather and vintage musk. Okay. I get like a hit of a high citrus followed by a depth of suede and leather. Don't say I get apple out of this. There's a fruity note, but I don't know that it's apple. There's vanilla in here too, for sure. It's a sweet scent. And I think that, yeah, I can get the musk as well. It's hard to describe. A little bit masculine, but could pass as unisex. Fruity, but in like a deep way. Sweet. And the leather doesn't smell like walking into a leather shop. It's like a, a soft leather. It's nice. It kind of smells like, it reminds me of like a library. So it is nice. I like this one better than I thought I was going to because leather scares me and I don't tend to like leather scents, but I like this. I do think it's a little bit fallish. I think it'd be tough to warm this one in the summertime. I like this one better than I thought. They did really good with the scent. It's very well blended. Nice work, Sensi. Next, we've got Happy New Home. And this one, the top's broken right off. I don't know what happened there. And it's like a honeydew orange type wax. So the notes on this are bright notes of lemon blossom and mandarin settle in beneath a bright blue sky. This smells like dryer sheets or detergent. It's a kind of floral laundry scent. The floral must be the lemon blossom. This is straight up a laundry scent for me, and it's quite sharp and soapy. It's not my personal favorite, but if you like laundry scents, and you're okay with like pretty heady florals, this is quite a heady floral laundry scent. If you like magnolia linen, I think you would like this. It's along the same line, um, so there's that. I think it will perform well because it is quite strong in the packaging as well. For me, this one smells like a headache. <laughs> Um, I'm headache prone and these kind of scents are exactly the kind of thing that trigger migraines for me. So I'm going to be very careful with this one. And last but not least, we have newborn or welcome little one. So this one is a very pretty, very soft lavender wax. And so it's soft billowy cotton blossoms and ref refreshing citrus cradle a whisper of clean musk. This one's much lighter. Mm. It's still... Still laundry-ish, but lighter than Happy New Home. And a little bit softer in scent. Doesn't have the same sharpness that the floral in Happy New Home did. But you definitely get the cotton scent. And it's not the same cotton scent as in like Jammy Time or the other laundry scents. This is a much sharper cotton. And then there must be the musk. This is a fairly astringent laundry scent, but much softer in tone than Happy New Home. This is not a laundry scent I've seen since you do before. Um, this and Happy New Home are much sharper, more astringent laundry scents than most of Scentsy's clean laundry type scents. So interesting that they've gone that route. But this one is pretty, and I could see this one being okay for a newborn nursery because it is quite soft, and so it's much lighter. Yeah, this one <clears throat> has headache potential, but I think this one could still be pretty and I think I would still melt this one. Um, yeah, so if I had to pick favorites, my favorite from the Melt Moment by Moment collection is definitely, actually it turns out exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought my favorites would be Happy Birthday, then Down the Aisle, then Graduation, and then Newborn Nursery and then happy new home. And that's exactly how it is. So 
if I had to pick two, it would be birthday wishes, not happy birthday, sorry, and down the aisle. These two are fantastic. Out of the new release fall and winter scents, if I had to pick, by far my favorite is cashmere and corduroy. So good. So good. There's almost like a berryness to this to me, but it's like a very sweet sandalwood. Mm, so good. Beautiful. Feminine. Lovely. Um, followed by... I really like pomegranate prosecco. This one I didn't expect to like as much as I am. It's really good. Yeah. So those are my two favorites from the new fall and winter collection. Although overall, almost all of them are really solid for me. Um, the only one that I'm questioning and not a huge fan of is the uh, cinnamon buttercream. And I thought I would love this because I have never met a bakery scent I didn't like. Um, but this one might be the first. It's fine on top. Oh, yeah, no. You can't do it. That cheese, it's got to be the cheese note. It's freaking me out. <laughs> so if you like cheesecake type scents or tart scents though I don't think that'll throw you off on this one but for me I don't like cheesecake in real life either so I'm weird I'm sorry <laughs> uh, that's all I got for today guys thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'm really curious to know what you guys think of the new fall scents as well um, talk to you soon thanks bye